set here for a cardio core workout. You need zero equipment. You need yeah. zero place. We're going to be right in the same spot the entire time. All just using the finest piece of most advanced exercise equipment available in your human fucking body. And before we get started using we finish with this, we're going to start with this. And I'm sure we'll finish with it too because I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get start getting hot out here in the Southern California sun. And I'll start stripping down. So before we get started, you are fucking awesome. Check out the freak code new gear, the whole entire line of athletic gear. There's so many different creations going that, that are on there that I per personally designed in the freak code, the freak freak line. That is all my own personal designs. Check them out. The freak code clothing. Anyway, we got to get rolling for this workout. It's going to start off pretty, pretty, I don't want to say slow, but we're gonna gradually work our way into it. So this first round, we're gonna consider as a warm round. But before we do get started, let's get a quad stretch right here. Stretch your quads, back and forwards. Just hold it for a second each side. Stretch them. So it's gonna be four movements each round. It's gonna be pretty quick rounds, and then afterwards you can repeat the entire all the groups the second time. But we're gonna do quick rounds, four movements. There's basically the first movement of every round is standing. So you're doing an exercise standing, then you do an exercise in the high plank position, that's push-up position. You flip right over, do an exercise on your back, and you roll right over and do an exercise in the low plank position. So it's standing, high plank, back, low plank. That's where every group is gonna go. And it's geared towards cardio core. You wanna know how to build a strong core, how to have them six pack kegs for the, for the summertime. This is exactly how right here. And of course, don't shove a bunch of shit in your freaking face all week long. So we're gonna just get last stretch out, whatever else you need to stretch, your hamstrings, hips, calves, shoulders a little bit, because you are gonna be in that push up position 25% of the time, you're gonna be in low plank position 25% of the time. The good news is you get to be on your freaking back for 25% of the time. What, the, what about the other 25? Standing, it's a break from your shoulders. Pretty smart though. You got another one more twenty-five. What about the fifth twenty-five uh, percent? In the air. Yeah, airborne. We're gonna be airborne, levit levitating. All right. So we're gonna get rolling here. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. We have on several different screens and monitors and all that crap uh, across the way. All right. So we're gonna start simple standing just to get the blood flowing as, and consider a secondary warm up. It's just gonna be a full jumping jack. You're gonna start when I start, you're gonna stop when I stop. So do as many as you can at a time. You can go faster than me, slower than me, modify, do what you gotta do. Let's roll. Simple jumping jack, just getting things started. Kicking things off on the freak mode cardio core training session. First round, just getting a few in, just get the freaking blood flowing. What positions after this, sucker? Uh, uh, is, uh is not a position. High plank, push up position, go. So it's going to be shoulder taps from the high plank position. So right here, feet as close together as you can. If you have to, you put your feet further apart for more stability. The closer you put them together, the harder it is. The farther apart, the easier, more stable it is. Just shoulder taps, brace those abs. Hips are down, back is straight. Strong shoulders, strong tries, and strong freaking Core, suck in the gut. That's what this is all about. And flip over on your, yeah. you are fucking awesome shirt. It's gonna be just double leg leg lifts, both legs together, lowering them down and bringing them up. Bring them all the way down so they almost graze the floor and then straight up in the sky. Press that lower back into the floor. Keep tension on your abs the whole time. Couple more, couple more. And good, you're gonna flip over. Low plank position, that's on your forearms. And we're also gonna do shoulder taps here. So what you're gonna do is take this hand off the floor to chop the shoulder. So all your weight's gonna shift on that one side for that split second. Don't just do this bullshit I've seen people do where they keep their elbows down. That's some lame bullshit. Entire arm comes off the floor. Turn the elbow out. I wonder why this is called the core workout. Tap it. And tie. 
that's pretty much the warm up round. Just kick things off. We're gonna run through all these rounds. Then afterwards, you can repeat them all a second time if you want. We're gonna go through it here once on camera. We're not gonna make you sit here and walk through it the second time. All you would do is then just replay it and go through it a second time. No point in us going through the whole thing. So now we're gonna be in, in standing position. Also kind of a secondary warm up round, so you don't need much of a break. You're just gonna use in your abs. You need to constantly squeeze your abs. Hands are behind your head, and you're gonna bring a knee up as high as you can, squeezing the core on that side. Huh? Tuck the knee up to the chest. When you're doing that, squeeze, and that knee comes up, crunching that side. Dig in your freaking core, suck in that damn gut. Hands are interlocked behind your head. Squeeze it up. Constantly squeeze it. Don't just flail around. You know we're going to be in the push-up position next. Right away, push-up position. Knee tucks down here also. Knee tucks into the chest, squeeze, and step back. Knee into the chest, squeeze, step back. Dig it. Crunch, crunch, crunch. All the way in the chest in the air, so you're only on that one leg. And then switch, hold and squeeze, pause when that knee is into your chest. Hands are lined up directly under the shoulders. Strong chest, strong shoulders, strong tries. Dig it. Couple more. Flip onto your back. Also, do another variation of a knee tuck. So you're gonna be on hip raises, all same knee tucks from here. See all, all these have been knee tucks. Crunch it in. Hips are up high. Squeeze the knee to the chest. There's a side knee tuck, but that goes later. You really should go with this one on the low plank, but it fits better. There's another one. I need it to be easier for this one. Just like a toe tap out to the side. Tuck the knee into the chest, squeeze those abs, dig in the core. Get that glute strong, hips elevated the whole freaking time. Come more. Roll your ass right over, low plank. And all you're doing here is holding the low plank with your feet together. You're gonna tap one toe all the way out to the side. As far as you can go with the toe still pointing down to the floor. So not turning the knee out. So consciously tap the toe out and in. You're just tapping it and back in. Feet all the way together. Not pointing the toe out though. Only as far as you can go with the toe pointing still straight down. So that's gonna make you work your obliques and your glute hip a little bit different. Keeping that toe pointed straight down to the floor. And you're also not gonna be able to reach as far. <coughs> dig, dig, dig. Couple more. And time. That's the end of that second round. Get up, move. Keep those shoulders loose. Stretch them. Shake them. Stretch those quads, even though you're down the ground a lot. Your, your quads, your glutes, your core, all working, to get, all working together, all from front to back, 360 degrees. Up and down, it's not just your freaking abs and that's it. Shake those out. Stretch your hamstrings, active recovery. Keep the blood flowing. Keep it moving. Hey, little freak show. Hmm. Tell them something. What? Hi. Wow, you suck. <laughs> your freak score gonna be a one today. You're just lame. Apparently, Freak Show is mute all of a sudden. Won't shut up throughout the day. Time to go talk to you. And he just freezes up. Come on, man. Freak School 1. Does it? Freak School 1. Hi. 
So you have an action one and a free one. We, we rate ourselves in five different categories every night on our journaling. It's discipline, energy, confidence, action, and freak. And if you look on the freak code clothing line, there's a specific line and color associated with each one of those words. You need to check it out. It's freaking awesome stuff. All right, let's do it. Hands behind the head again. Prisoner. Some of you are probably used to this and comfortable with that. Front kicks. Abs tight. So that knee is coming, bending, and extending. That tons of core work in there to get that kick out there, especially with your hands locked. Don't yank on your neck. Bend the knee and extend. Boom. Boom. Breathe and kick. Slow, controlled kick. You're having to stay on that one leg for a split second, keeping that core tight. Head up, chest out, shoulders back. Don't pull on your neck forward. A few more. It's a short set, so it's going to do a lot of sets. And focus on keeping tension on those abs the whole time. It's going to make it work a lot better. All right, you're now going down. Push up position. Alternate Superman from the high plank position. So that's opposite arm, opposite leg. In the air, hold for a second, bring it down under control. We're going nice and slow. Hold and down. Hands lined up under your shoulder, the arm that's staying on the floor. So my right arm's going out with my left leg. Bring it down. Left arm with the right leg. Hold it, control it. This is a warm-up because we're going to be doing this for a project we're going on this week, but probably two weeks from now. I have to do more. I have to go through it twice. There, we're going to. So this is the practice round. A couple more. One more each side. Stay flat, strong, and flip over. We're going to get alternating single leg leg drops. So both feet up in the air, both legs straight up in the air. Drop one down, tap it, bring it up. Other one down, tap and squeeze. Tension on those abs the whole time. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Strong. Control, tap, control, tap it. Last couple. And good. Flip over. Let's just hit. And all to Superman. Down the low plank. All to Superman low plank right here. Back straight. Abs strong. Keep your hips squared up. A few more. One more each side. And time. Shake it. Stretch it. Strip it. And sip it. Drink some water. Shake it out. Stretch it out. So check out the links I'll put down below for the Freak Code clothing. There's a full Freak line that is based around discipline and resilience and action and confidence and protecting and attacking. Awesome freaking stuff. Check it out. There's t-shirts, tank tops, shorts, long sleeve rash guards, training pants, sweatpants, sweat hoodies for men. And then of course all the, the Russian freak code women stuff. But check out the men's stuff, some crazy multicolor stuff that will help you live according to the freak code. All right, we're gonna be on to the next round. This one's gonna have a power squat 
which is a pop, pop, and a drop. A power squat's gonna lead the way. Plank check, plank check, plank huh? check. All right. So a power squat is here. You're gonna go pop, pop, drop, touch with the right. Then pop, pop, drop, touch with the left. Pop, pop, drop. Keep those abs tight. Think of this as a core exercise, much as anything else. Of course, working your glutes. But keep those abs tight. Pop, pop, drop right. Pop, pop, drop left. Pop, pop, drop right. Get low, sit back on the hips and heels. All the way down. And good. We're going plank jack. High plank jack, push up position. So you see a faster pace around here, but still the core is just holding everything together here. Jump apart together. Back straight. Abs strong. Strong chest, shoulders. Tries, dig it, suck it up, bounce it out. Eight more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Flip over onto your back. Zero. Flutter kicks. Both legs straight. One is up. Because uh, it, it didn't match with the other one I had. I screwed up. I, I rearranged the things last minute here. Pump it out. Didn't go with the high knee round. And mountain climber uh, on the back. I screwed it's supposed to be it's like a bicycle kick. It made a chance to go more with that. Pump it out. Ten. Nine. nine eight. Seven. Six. six five. Four. four three. Two. Eight, one. Zero. Flip over. And low plank jack. On your forearms, low plank. I don't know, there you go. Feet together and apart, go. Toes point down to the floor the whole freaking time. Get those abs tight. Abs are what's holding you together here. Abs are working more than anything else on this. That's why it's called cardio core, suckers. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I don't know how I went to 10 and I started at 4 for some reason. But that's just how a freak code counts. All right, shake it, stretch it. New round coming up. Another knee tuck round. It's just a faster paced knee tuck round like earlier. We're going to start with jumping, kind of uh, knee tuck jumps, where your knees tuck up into the air. So it's going to be a little more legs on this one. But your abs are going to work like crazy, digging those knees in the, into your chest while you're up in the air. So get those legs stretched out, those quads stretched out, glutes. Get ready to roll. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Dig those stretches. Get them ready. Get those hamstrings. All right, let's do it. Knee tuck jump. We're going to do it kind of standing up straight, so you have to really rely on your abs to bring the knees up. We're not doing a squat. You could do a power knee tuck jump where it's more going from a squat, like a plyo squat, a, a, a jump squat. We're going to do it where it's kind of standing up, where you have to just pop up off your toes. And listen, if this doesn't work, you could just do partial, or you could just do speed marching, whatever works for you. But we're going to be here, knee, tuck, jump, from standing. So you're going to have a little bend in your knees, so you need a little pop off, but you're going to be here. Knee tuck, right there. Reset after each one, and then we're going to burn out towards the end of the set. We're going to do one at a time with a reset. So, ha, reset. Knee tuck. Bring your knees up into your chest, knees up into your throat. Taking those abs. Double jump. You can't even hock them up there. Hack them up there. Come on. <laughs> Couple more before we sprint them out. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna pump them out for ten more. Ten more, suckers. 
And right to the push up position. Those suck. And double knee chuck jump here, kind of a half of a squat thrust. So both feet jump forward and back. Your feet can be together or apart, whatever feels better for your knees. Pause. We're not pausing here. Pump it out. Dig in your abs. I mean, we could have the first half set, we did the other ones, but we're not. Ten more. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Spin out. Those suck. Those suck back to back. It's a good little back to back superset. Just going those two back and forth. Love to get to that next week, suckers. Those two would suck. Just four sets in a row of each of those back to back. Okay. All right. So you're going to check this out. You're going to do forward two circles, backwards two circles. Bend your legs, extend your legs. So bend straight. See? Looping forward. And now reverse, stay low, leg lift, and loop it around. Bend and extend, bend, extend down, bend, extend down. Now, straight and bend down. So two each direction. Dig in those abs, crunch it. Change directions. Time. Flip over, and we have side knee tucks from the low plank. This is a slower one for this round, but it's hard and sucks. So your hips stay down, tuck your knee out to the side, try to touch your knee to your tricep. Crunch it. Look, that's the whole point, keeping it in the air. Oh yeah. Trying to keep it in the air, drag your toes to the ground if you need to. Three more each side. One. One. Two. Two. Hey. Hey. And break. How did you make it? That's a short round, but that round works. Your core, your hips, upper, lower, like. Fucking crazy. So that's called cardio core. Not gonna be so much out of breath, but you should be working your whole body. You should be slightly out of breath, you should be sweating. Especially if you're in the sun. But this is how you work your core. It's how you get a strong functional core that also looks solid and looks firm. And stop being those ho-hos and twinkies and yodels and all that other bullshit. That'll help also. All right, so standing on this one, we're gonna start with high knees. So fast pace. Think of this high knee set. When you're doing these high knees, think of it as an ab exercise. Of course, you're gonna be out of breath, your legs gonna be burning, your glutes gonna be burning, but think of it as a core exercise. So every time you're driving those knees up and you're sprinting it out, think core, 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 core. Mother flipping core. Then you'll be in the push-up position. If you're doing mountain climbers, on those, your arms are gonna get tired, your legs are gonna get tired, you're gonna get out of breath, your heart rate's gonna be up, but think freaking core, core, core. We're doing cardio, mother, flipping core. So think core. You'll be on your back, doing alternating knee tucks, kind of bicycle or straight leg knee tucks, however you wanna do it, alternating legs, whatever flow works for you, think core. And then on the low plank, both legs are going to be straight, and you're just going to be going side to side with both legs. Side to side, double leg hops from the low plank. I'm even giving you all four, and it's also an excuse for us to take a longer freaking break. Let's do it. Let's roll. High knees coming up. Core knees. Core high knees. Because you're constantly squeezing and thinking about your damn abs as you bring them up. How many are we going to do? What? High knees? High knees. 100. 100? You little shit. I was going to say 40. No, little 40. shit stick just said 100. 40. No, so now we're doing 100. No. Too late. 100 each? 100 total, so 50 each side, but that also means whatever number you said for the high knees, we're also doing for mountain climbers. So now we have 100 high knees, and then 100 mountain climbers, and then we flip on our back, 
and we're going to have 100 alternating knee tucks. And then we're going to flip to low plank. No. I don't know about 100 leg, double leg, side hop, but we'll see what happens. But we're doing 100 of the other ones. Let's roll. Really. Did you see the burner on? Ish. One like a separate round there, but yeah. All right, let's do it. High knees, go. Four, six, eight. eight. 40 or 50 total. And dumbass decides to say 100. Fucking awesome. What do you think I was going to say? All right, let's go. 100 high knees. Go. Two, Two four, four, six, eight, eight, eight ten. Nine, count. Four, I meant mountain climbing four, the high knees. 16, 18, 22. Four, Back eight, down. Eight, abs strong. Ten, Think abs. 30, Two, four, six. Strong eight, chest, shoulders, tries. Ten, uh, Two, four, six, four, six eight, fifty-two, four, six, eight, sixty-two, four, six, keep it tight, eight, keep it strong, seventy-two, solid, six, eight, eighty-two, four, six, eight, ninety-two. Hundred zero zero. I don't want to do hundred of these. I'm gonna tell you his address. You can go slash his tires, smash all his fucking Legos as payback. With this bullshit. All right, we're on our back. You can do these however work for you. You can just be here. I'm just gonna be here. Think of like a bike. Call them bicycle kicks. You could go around Robin if you want. I'm just going straight in and out for. 40. No, it's already 100. <laughs> Just don't. If, you're, if you start feeling it, pull it on your hip or your groin or hernia-ish, do what you got to do. Modify. Watch your back on these, right? Watch your, watch your stomach. Go. Two. Two four, four. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Two. Jesus. Four. Teen, two, sixteen. Eighteen. Twenty-two. Four. Six. six eight. eight. 32. 100 is going to suck. 4. Extend your legs if you can. 8. eight 42. 42. I'm going faster. 4. four 6. 8. eight 52. 4. Pump six, it out. Keep those abs strong. 62. Tension on the four, lower of the abs six, the whole time. 8. Extend those 72, legs. 72. Bicycle kick four, them. 6. 8. 82. 82 4. 6. 8. eight 92. 4. Six, eight, eight hundred, hundred, zero. All right. Now we're on low plank. We're not hundred. Double leg, straight leg, side to side. This late in the round, after all doing all this on your hips and core, they're gonna suck. And since he said we're not doing a hundred, we're doing a fucking hundred. What? Hell yeah. Because we're not little bitches. We're doing a hundred. 50 each side, it's totally, they're, they're, they're quick little hops. Oh, those things. What do you think we were doing? Nothing. I mean, we're not going super wide. Listen, go as wide or as narrow as you need to, but both feet stay together. Let's do it. Still gonna suck for 100. Let's go fast. One, two, four, six, eight, 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 Thirty-two, four, six, eight, fifty-two. Suck it up. Four, Your back six, straight. Eight, Hips down. Six, seventy-two, four, six, eight, eighty. Did you just give a ten? Four, no. Six, eight, ninety-two, four, six, eight, hundred. Zero. 
Shake it. Stretch it. That round sucked. Thanks, this little jerk down here. Not a jerk. I'm saying 100. But that just shows you, if we would have done 40 or 50, what a little bitch I would have been, huh? If we just banged out 100 of all four instead of the 40 or 50 I was going to tell you to do. Just shows you what you're capable of when you stop being a little punk and just set your mind to something and just fucking do it. Simple as that. Lock it in, lock in the target, and just fucking do it. Brilliant. Rocket science. Shake it, stretch it. What else are you doing? Just single sets. Single set combo round. That's 31 minutes. So what you could do is go back through all those if you want to as separate rounds like we did in groups of four. You could replay this. Or you could do even shorter sets of all of them and literally go through everything in one long round. Just very short sets, which is nonstop flip, bam, 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 stand, plank, flip, boom. One after the other. How are we gonna break it down? This alone by itself, as you can feel, is a, a kick ass workout, but do a little extra. Maybe repeat the rounds that work for you. Some of them didn't feel so good, you just skip those, rearrange it. But just based off of these rounds we just did, you can create dozens of separate cardio core workouts just with this idea and with this theme as a template. So all we're gonna do here is plank, walk, Superman. So that's Superman, right and left low. You're gonna walk up to high plank, right and left. So two Superman, low plank Superman, two super, high plank Superman. Just plank, walk, Supermans. We got this and one other combo round. And that's it, suckers. Let's go. Plank, walk. Well, I don't know for a second. Plank walk Superman. Let's do it. Low plank right. Low plank left. Walk up to the push up position. High plank right. High plank left. Back down low. Too low. Under control. Walk it up. Alternate with side you're going to first. So one time go left right. Now go left right on the way down. Go left right down here. Come up. Left right. Now we're going to go right. Left. Down, right, left, low, right, left, up, right, left, high, left, right. Move yourself down with left and right, low, left, low, right, come up, time. Plank, walk, Superman. Working your whole fucking body right there. One more set. What's gonna be? Log theme, similar to that. The other one we do high and low for the most part. I mean, we just shoulder taps. Could be we're not doing that because it's just too slow. I'd say high knees and not climbing. What's the fast pace that we can do plank walk? What did you plank exercise? We did high and low. We did in this workout. We did not? We did both of them. All right, we got plank walk jacks. So two low plank jacks, you walk up, and two high plank jacks. Burn it out. Burn it out. I said it's just like the Superman. Let's go, low plank. Two jacks, one, two. Come up, high plank. One, two. Down, too low, too high. Going six rounds. This is round three already. Up for three. Down for four. Up for four. Down for five. Up for five, down for six, up for six, and time. And those are your full circuits. So we're gonna loop back around and get some more work in here. You could break that circuit down, you could just repeat this video and do it a second time, or you could even call that a workout. If you did some other stuff already, you go for a run after this, go ride a bike after this. That's called killer training. Or just repeat this round again in the same way, groups of four, with a break, group four, break. Or just go through the whole fucking thing. Very short sets of each, just non-stop flipping over like a mother flipping pancake. Anyway, we're going to sign off here so you're not having to sit and watch us go through this whole thing again. Make sure you check out, I'll put the link below, 
the Freak Code line of clothing. And this is just the, the regular t-shirt. And But check the back out. You are fucking awesome. But there is a whole line of different colors, multicolored, long sleeve, rash guards, short sleeve, athletic t-shirts, short sleeve, regular t-shirts, tank tops, and all kinds of women freaking crap with bags and fucking bras and underwear and all that shit, whatever else. All geared towards training and living by the free code of having discipline, energy, confidence, action, and being your freak mother fucking self. That's what it's all about. So check it out. It's www.freakcode.site. That's S-I-T-E, site, as in website, freakcode.site. Check it out. There's a full line already available. And if you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Let me know how this workout went for you. Take a screenshot of yourself doing this session and tag me in it in the bottom. We got to get rolling in case no one told you yet today. You are fucking awesome. No excuses. Little freak show anything you want to take them home with. Normal child, I can't imagine what it gets from. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.